All right, everyone, not as fan again. Madden 11, live moments, uh, 2010 season, week two. We've got the Patriots and the Jets. No slouch here. So uh, this is uh, another game replayed from uh, week two, um, added into the DLC here for the uh, Madden uh, 11 live moments. So uh, this time uh, we will be given control of the Patriots. Um, and essentially this one, you play uh, just about a whole uh, second half of football. Let your wide receiver make a play on this deep post route. You'll have a five-step drop, so if the safeties aren't in position to give help, we should be in good shape. So here we have a key third and 13 play. We are up by four points here. Um, and I find Wes Walker for a very nice first down. Uh, on the third and 13, we get uh, more than we needed here. So uh, first and 10 from the Jets, 16, uh, is a good way to, to start this here. So um, we've got the accelerated clock, you know, running 15 seconds off after each play, uh, you know, at least where the clock is running. And here we go, Walker again on the little um, little wide receiver screen. Uh, out wide. Um, unfortunately, it looks like Welker got uh, pummeled after the play here and is going to have to come out at least for a little while as he looks like he's in some obvious pain. So, uh, Brady losing one of his main weapons, but uh, no fear. Looking like they're going to run the ball here. And Falk, who, um, you know, as of uh, now is out for the season, but at that point was not. Uh, is there and here you see Welker will not be able to return so uh, Edelman will be taking his place for the rest of this contest um, which has about two and a half uh, minutes left in the third and then the whole fourth quarter so another third down third and one this time as a try to get it out to Falk and uh, don't really give him any room to maneuver here so uh, this play could have been better on my part um, as <laughs> I let him way too far to the sideline and he has nowhere to go once he gets there. So we're going to take a field goal here for a uh, hopefully a seven-point lead. And uh, that is right down the middle, splitting the uprights. So uh, so we go five plays and 40 yards and get a chip shot field goal to take a seven-point lead with uh, two minutes left in the third quarter. So it's time to play some defense here after we kick off deep which we'll do right here, and uh, that's far enough in the end zone. I don't think he'll be returning that. Nope, he won't. So uh, the Jets' offense with Sanchez going to come out and see what they can do, uh, led by the computer, of course. But they're going to line up uh, with uh, Green in the backfield, fake it to him, and um, some crazy little uh, short uh, dump there. It looked like they were trying to go to Keller, but it was batted around by uh, D. Lyman to the point where somebody should have picked that thing off, but you know how D-linemen are. Uh, I was one of them at one point. <laughs> but you're not known for your, your hands. So anyway, they try to run in green this time, and uh, not a whole lot more success. I guess they get about four. So third and six here. Uh, Sanchez still going to be under center, not going from the shotgun. Uh, looking for a big play. Kotri actually gets his hands on it and uh, gets thumped here and is, is uh, not able to hang on. Doesn't hang on long enough for this to be a fumble. As you see, he kind of uh, didn't make the football move. I guess the, the uh, <laughs> he didn't demonstrate control making a football move, the, the refs would say. So um, that's an incompletion, and we get a punt, and eh, I probably could have run that back with Falk there, but I wanted to avoid any kind of uh, fumbling on, on uh, punt returns. So went for the safe, uh, fair catch and give it to Brady and, and, and go to work. So uh, here we go, look and pass with Edelman in motion and see what we can get open here for Brady. And um, right there, I did not make the right read at all. Uh, missed, a, uh, missed a linebacker standing right there. So I uh, definitely, I know in the comments, I'm sure I'll hear screaming comments like, Moss was wide open down the field or you should have hit B at... Uh, at uh, 349 in your video here. So, yeah, anyway, I, I love how you guys get intense about it and uh, start quarterbacking my uh, my mistakes. Keep doing it by all means. It's kind of fun to uh, see you pick apart my film like you guys are all coaches. I love it. So, you know, obviously it's not as uh, not as clear when you're, when you're playing the game uh, as I hit Tate there. 
four first down on third and four. Get 16 out of it. Take that at any time here as we're winding down the third quarter. Still with a seven-point lead. But, yeah, no, it's it's kind of cool how uh get you guys uh, studying my film and uh, telling me where I could where I could pass and, and all that. And uh, uh, I, I get a kick out of it. I really do enjoy reading the comments when you do that. So, so bring it on. Um, I uh, definitely uh, think it's kind of funny. So uh, here's the end of third quarter, up by seven still. Um, obviously, this is a uh, – <laughs> they give us just about two full quarters of play here, so um, I've got some time to ramble on about things other than just the uh, ball game you're seeing here. So we got a run play called here. I'm going to audible to a uh, quick pass, it looks like. And uh, Brady's barking that out. And here we go. And I'm looking, uh, Falk, <laughs> and Falk, or I think it was Falk, well, whoever it was, my running back stopped. Um, and Brady expe uh, expected him to uh, take that out closer to the sideline. So that falls incomplete. We got a third and seven here. And uh, this time we'll get it to Crumpler coming out of the backfield. What's Crumpler doing in the backfield? Anyway, uh, he does not get nearly enough for first down. Uh, as it looks like uh, Jason Taylor just uh, demolishes him there. And uh, that's no gain, actually. So fourth and seven. We're going to have to give that one up. Or actually, we're going to try a 56-yard field goal. Oh, boy, 56 yards. Uh, looking back on this one, I think I might have tried to punt and uh, and get them, you know, within uh, inside their 10. But, uh, you know, you hit it pretty much full power. And uh, came close, but that just doesn't have enough steam. I don't know what I'm thinking from 56. Um, actually, I, I do know what I was thinking. I just went game flow, and game flow decided that I should kick a 56-yarder. And I guess I should have just uh, called timeout or come out of it, maybe punted. But uh, but there it is. So we give them the ball, essentially, at midfield. And uh, we uh, get uh, green in the backfield here. So the running game uh, not getting started for the Jets. And they've got a second and 11 now. They'll go shotgun. And uh, we'll see what Sanchez can do out of the shotgun. As, oh, he hits Smith there. Had a guy right on him. But uh, nonetheless able to make the catch. That's kind of maddening there. I should have at least gotten a hand in and knocked that down. But uh, whatever. It's first and 10 now inside my territory. They're going to try green again. And again, he's going to get... Uh, He's going to get stuffed by a host of Patriots there. Two or three met him there right on the, on the ball there on the pitch. So we're under three minutes now. Second and 11 once again. we got three receivers right. And uh, Sanchez isn't going to get that one off as we get a heavy rush on him. Cunningham gets the sack. So uh, Sanchez not able to, uh, to deliver on that as we come closer to two minutes. He's got a third 19 of his own to deal with here. So um, out of the shotgun with two running backs protecting him, he's going to scramble right, taking way too much time, and he's going to eat some turf once again. And, uh, yep, that's just way too long to hang out of the ball. Got to get rid of it. So uh, must have been fairly decent coverage down the field as we hit two-minute warning. And you see some stats on the Patriots there. Kind of nice to see that the stats carry over from, uh, you know, where you were put into the game, not just from where you start for the most part on there. Every once in a while, I'll see yardage totals that don't seem to match. So they'll punt it out of bounds here to the 25. Not particularly a great punt. Um, didn't pin me down inside my 10 or anything like that. So starting at the 25, and the Jets have three timeouts. So that means if we run the ball here, well, you know, that's one way to uh, <laughs> get things taken care of. Run for a first down right away there. So... There they burn a timeout, but uh, we got the first down, so their hopes of getting the ball back after three quick timeouts uh, might be in jeopardy there. So uh, Falk gets the carry again. Uh, there he meets some more resistance. They're trying to strip the ball. They take a timeout. And uh, what do we got for down and distance? Second and five. So uh, once again, obviously we're going to run the ball here, make them use that last timeout. And... Uh, I think I changed the run to the right, which was probably a stupid idea looking back on it because uh, they met him quite quick there for the tackle. Two Jets uh, convene on him right away, and I lose three yards. Probably should have stayed to the left where the play was designed, but oh well. So third and eight, 
they're out of timeouts now so um, but I'm thinking if I get one pass here I can I can absolutely ice this game so uh, I'm gonna try it you know I got Tom Brady and I got some weapons so let's uh let's play let's see what happens and uh, Moss just uh, does what uh, Randy Moss does gets himself open and uh, and ices this game here as you see uh, as you see Moss running a crisp route and and Brady just getting it right on the on the money to him and uh, from there it's all good we can actually uh, look to <laughs> I'm gonna audible out of uh, a uh, kneel down and run the ball here and Falk's got yardage uh, right up the middle I don't think the Jets are gonna be too happy about that but uh, you know screw them this is what I'm this is what I'm doing man so uh, I'm not usually one to uh, run up the score, but I, I think I, I didn't, I wasn't feeling three kneel downs in a row. So uh, second and two, and um, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Get something, somebody in motion, I guess. And uh, nobody's uh, in a position where they want to get in motion here. So uh, Crumpler finally does go in motion, hand this off to Falk. That should be a first down. Yep, first down. Well, they're actually going to come and measure it, even though it already said first down down there. Oh, well. <laughs> Where's the drama when they've already told you first down? But anyway, Chain Gang comes out, confirms it. First and 10, 49 seconds left. And uh, what did I decide to do here? I honestly can't remember. We're in kneel down. I'm looking to uh, audible once again, possibly. Yep. Just not feeling the kneel down today. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's uh, maybe it was Brady's comments earlier earlier in the uh, in the season or in the preseason about how he hated the Jets. Uh, so I figured he'd want to stick it to him, and Falk just runs over, runs runs over and through everybody here uh, on his way to a first and goal at the two. So uh, 22 seconds left. Uh, this time I'm gonna audible out of it again. I think. Uh, yep, there we go. We're <laughs> shotgun even. We're going to try to score one more time here before time runs out. So, uh, yep, make the easy read to Morris there for the touchdown. What the heck? We're going to go up two scores on him. You know, Brady, Brady hates the Jets, and he's showing it off right here. So, uh, he'll get no love from Rex Ryan after this game, but I'm sure he really uh, could care less. So, there you go. So, it's 24-10 with very little time. Uh, left time for a kickoff and um, that's about it kickoff maybe one play so I would imagine I, I picked to squib this we'll, we will see here though yep squib kick bounces off a guy who doesn't really want to pick it up Mulligan comes and, and uh, scoops it up so four seconds left and I would imagine they'd air it out here so um, we'll try to, well, actually, they're going under center. But, uh, yeah, Sanchez is going to throw. And, uh, well, Sanchez tried to throw. And instead he uh, takes a sack. So that's how this one ends. This is quite a long one, but it's a success. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I've got one more to go for week two. It was a bonus one that was added on uh, from the initial three to make four. And that's coming up next. Uh, look for it. Thanks, guys. This has been Not As Fan. Bye.